Hi everyone, this is Manas, your friend and tutor and let's begin with the third problem in this series on projection of lines level 1. Here we go. So we've got a 90mm long line. So let me just write true length over here. True length is equal to 90. And it is parallel to and 25mm in front of VP. So it's, it's something like this. Um, it's, it's, if, if this over here is the vertical plane, then it is in front of the VP by a distance of 25 millimeters. That means if you say this is end A and this is end B, so distance of end A from VP is equal to the distance of end B from the VP, which is also equal to what? Well, that's 25 millimeters. So DA, let me just write this properly, will be equal to DB and will be equal to 25. Okay. Uh, it's one end is in the HP. So if the end is in the HP, that means its distance from HP is zero. That's pretty simple. So HA will be equal to zero. And secondly, while the other end, that means HB will be equal to 50 mm. That's above the HP. Draw its projection and find its inclination with the VP. Now this is some very interesting. And this problem, there are two things which needs to be done. One is the drawing itself. And then from the drawing, we need to determine what the angle of inclination of uh, with HP is. So here we go. Let me show you the pectoral representation. And this is how the object has been kept. Rather, the line has been kept. Okay. Now this end A is actually in contact with the HP. It's already in contact. And if you try to have the front view of it, its front view is going to lie on this XY line. That's going to be A dash and that's B dash. It's, it's that simple. When you take a look at this line from the top, this is exactly where its top view is going to be. And that is the point A. And let me just show you. And that is going to be point B. It's that simple. Let's connect B with B dash. Now let's try to make the orthographic prediction. And guys, this is something, again, as I say, this is something that you need to imagine in your mind. Okay. And here we go. This is going to be VP above XY and HP is going to be below XY. A dash marked. Okay, H above and D below. How much is H? H value is zero. So this has been used. This has been used. Let me show you. That's D A. Can you can you just work out what is the next step that we can take? True length has been given to us, but for fixing the true length, true length we need we need angle theta. Do we have angle theta? We don't. Okay, this is angle theta, but we don't know how much theta is. Or rather we know how high this point B is. Well, point B is at a height of, this is HB. HB is equal to what? It's 50 millimeters. So what essentially we can do is guys, um, we can make a construction line 50 mm above this reference line. This is XY, the reference line. Above this reference line, we can make a point and we can pass a line through it. And that is going to be our construction line. Okay, and somewhere along this line, Somewhere along this line, we'll have B dash at a distance of how much from A dash. The distance is 90 millimeters because it's the true length. So with A dash as the center, we'll cut an arc of radii 90 millimeters. That's it. This right over here gives you point B dash. It's that simple. Then you need to travel downwards. You need to reach here. Let me show you here. And then you do need to further travel downwards. This distance, this over here is DA. And this over here is nothing but DB, which is also equal to what? 25. So that's DA and DB used. That, that's P dash. And this is angle theta. Okay, the drawing has been made. And the theta is working out as, if you keep a protractor over here, then the value of angle theta will work out as 34 degrees approximately. So guys, this is exactly how this problem is supposed to be done. So thank you for watching today's video. I'll see you again in the next video. Until then, take care and bye-bye.